Friday. Got a lot to talk about. But um, the first thing I need to say is I have a small uh, explanation for you guys for the video last week, which had a ridiculous watermark right in the middle of it. Um, I do all this on a cell phone and it didn't like it last week. And my memory was full, and when I made the video, and transmitted it all to my to the YouTube land. Um, the phone ran out of memory and deleted like 27 files within that video at 10 o'clock at night. So I had to boot it, transfer everything onto my desktop, and then try to do it real quick with a program I'd never used before. Um, and we'll talk about that program later. It seems to work pretty well. They've got a lot of features that come with it. But that watermark was ridiculous. Um, I don't know if I'm embarrassed to say, but I kind of am a little bit. That I paid the 50 bucks for the licensing, and now we are using that said program um, to make this video. Unfortunately, I can't go back and just delete that watermark because the video is already posted and whatever that's gonna just be known as a weird video because there's a gigantic watermark in the middle of it that's why it's there so if you don't like it I don't care today we don't have a watermark because I paid for it it's all good now um, but if you notice me bending over every two seconds it's because of this it's Maverick the dog He's a ninja. Anyway, uh, so today let's talk about car shows. Uh, last week we went to the Old Soul uh, Hot Rod Happening in Leroy, New York. It's the first weekend in August every year. I don't want to be a downer, but I think it's going to come to an end soon because that show is getting huge. Um, unfortunately, it's at the guy's house. I don't know why he does it at his house, but that's where his shop is. And they make beautiful cars, and they're really hardcore, legit hot rodders. Um, it's good to see it. But, uh, yeah, I foresee that growing to a point of uncontrollability. Um, as of right now, they do have a concrete pad that they allow burnouts. In previous years, they just did it in the street, and they had a guy up the street on a phone... When he saw the cops roll up, he'd call up, they'd stop all the burnouts, everybody would get away from the road, the cops show up, do their thing, and they move along, get back to burnouts. Now, they have a slab poured at the house on private property and just burn tires off the whole time. Um, live band playing and a ridiculous bonfire at the end of it. But uh, that's not why we're there. We're there because it's 20 bucks to get in. Comes with a free koozie. Uh, and dinner. See that picture? Yeah, they cooked off like over a thousand pounds of chicken this year. And it's all included. Uh, iced tea, lemonade, chips, salt potatoes. I think we had max salad, dinner rolls, and all kinds of food. Great. Um, super legit. But uh, I figure what we're going to do today... Because I'm not going to even talk about Red Rocket. There's stuff going on. I can say I've driven the car down the road. And it's peppy. It needs some tuning. But uh, we're close to the next step of shenanigans. They're coming. But for today, I'm going to um, crank up the tunes. And we're just going to flip through a bunch of media. And uh, I'll see you on the backside in like... Five minutes. Is that cool? You got five minutes to spare? Let's do this.
That was a quick five minutes. Um, I'm going to throw this out there, my uh, top picks of the day. Uh, there's a camper in there. Right here, see it? That camper and that little wagon, super cool. Uh, there was a flat nose Jeep truck. Yeah, you like that? How about a celebrity car? You guys uh, remember American Graffiti? How about uh, Milner's uh, five window coupe? That's pretty rad. And my last um, picture I'm going to share with you today was a car that you're all going to look at and just say, eh. This car right here, this little five window coupe stood out for me and I tell you what in the next 10 years I am gonna be driving something super similar to that I want one I don't want it to be pretty it may end up pretty but I just want one to drive and do burnouts and drifties and donies and all kinds of fun stuff there it is anyway that's it for today um, Next week, we're going to talk about Red Rocket and probably some more dirt bike shenanigans. Um, I'm going to leave this off at the end here with a little clip from the dirt bike track out back. Um, yeah, happy endings. See you guys.